Hello everyone, my name is Pastor Edmund Castro and I'm the pastor of the Dutton Street Mission. Uh, and today I'd just like to share a few thoughts and words with y'all that I've written down. Uh, and I guess the subject would be, I don't know what the title would be, but I guess the subject would be uh, that not everyone is meant to be rich, not everyone is, one is meant to be famous, and not everyone is meant to be popular. Uh, you know, just because you're poor, money-wise, doesn't mean that you're a failure, because not everyone's meant to be rich. Uh, you know, a lot of people, I believe, they think they're a failure if they're not famous, if they're not rich, if they're not popular, but this is very untrue. And anyway, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 2, it says, feed the flock of God among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. In other words, it's saying, feed the flock of God among you, wherever you might be. Uh, so today, you might not be rich. You might not be famous. You might not be very popular, but it doesn't mean that you're a failure. God will use you right where you are. You see right here, it says, feed the flock of God, which is among you. That means this. I believe that this. it means this, um, that you may be poor at this time because maybe the Lord wants you to feed the flock which is among you, which might be the poor. Um, you know, maybe you're poor at this time so that you can reach out to the poor for Jesus. Uh, maybe you are not, maybe you are unpopular at this time so that you can reach out to the unpopular. Um, you know, and anyway, maybe you're not famous, so you can reach out to the ones who are not famous. You know, and also maybe you're struggling uh, with some kind of weakness today, you know, because the Lord knows in the future that he's going to use you for his glory. You know, maybe you're suffering some kind of weakness today because you know, the Lord knows that later on when he helps you to overcome it and get through that weakness, when he helps you to overcome that thing, he knows that he's going to use you to be a witness to someone else who is going to be struggling through the same weaknesses and through the same things. Um, so just remember, not everyone is meant to be rich. Not everyone is meant to be poor. Uh, wherever you are today, let God use you. You know, I know of a homeless man here, and I don't know if I should mention his name, uh, but anyway, for years and years, he's been going around witnessing to the homeless people, witnessing to the lost. And in fact, he's witnessing not only to the homeless people, but he's witnessing to the uh, people in their homes. He's witnessing all over Waco, telling people about Jesus and praying for people. Uh, but he's lived as a homeless man. And he told me one time, he said, I'm homeless because I feel led to be homeless so that I can reach the homeless. So sometimes God places a person in a position or leads a person to a certain position so that they might reach those people who are in the same position. Like for instance, there's a lot of people who the Lord leads to become missionaries in another country and, um, and they go there. And a lot of times they go to poor countries and they don't have much money. They, they, they're missionaries to others, but the Lord helps them to be missionaries even even when they are poor. So the Lord uses them where they're at to be a witness. Uh, so to me, wherever the flock might be, wherever we are, that's where our flock is. Um, whether we're going to, a, you know, if we're in school right now, if you're going to school, going to college, then I believe that's your flock right there, the flock of God which is among you. Start telling people about Jesus. Start encouraging others to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. And if they're already Christians, then encourage them to, uh, you know, go deeper into God's Word. Encourage them to, to continue to pray and stand upon God's Word for what they're believing for or what they have a desire in their heart 
for. Uh, wherever you are, or wherever we are, we need to be a witness for him, and we need to show others the love of God. We need to be praying for those around us as well. Um, and again, maybe you are in a um, some kind of struggling with some kind of weakness today. And if you are, know for sure that in the future God is going to use that for you. Sometimes God uses that that weakness that we're struggling with. It makes, you know, when we've gone through it, we become stronger and uh, we have more humility uh, for those around us and we have more compassion for those around us. We walk more humble. And in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, it says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to to his purpose. Um, so remember, he's going to work all things out for good, uh, for your good, for the good of his kingdom, and for good for the good of those that you're witnessing to, those who he's going to use you to witness to in the future. He's working it all out for his good. And you know, again, like I said, you know, you know, it could be also that God knows that if you were wealthy and if you were famous and if you were popular, then it might change you. You might not, in other words, you might be less humble. Uh, you might be less compassionate to others and you might become less dependent upon God and he knows that. And also you might even become prideful and God knows that. So again, let me tell you something. Not everyone is meant to be popular, famous or rich and God knows the reason why. But he can use you where you are today. You know, again, if you're among the poor, then witness to the poor. If you're among the unfamous, then witness to the unfamous. If you're among the unpopular, then reach out to the unpopular wherever you might be. Now also, the opposite is also true. Um, you know, maybe you are rich at this time. Maybe you are rich in money so that you can reach out to those around you that are rich. Maybe you are famous today uh, so that you can reach the famous for Jesus. Uh, maybe you're popular today so you can reach the popular for Jesus. Uh, so wherever you are, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, reach, start reaching out reaching out to those among you reach out reach try to reach out to them for jesus you know let them know about how the lord saved you and how that he can save you as well now a lot of people would say oh you know i've heard that being rich is a sin or being rich in money is a sin i want you to know something it's not a sin uh here's what it says in first timothy chapter 6 verse 10 it says for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some converted coveted which while some coveted after they have erred from faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows for right here it says it says for the love of money is the root of all evil it doesn't say having money is the root of all evil you know there's a lot of rich people who are, are great witnesses for the Lord, who tell people about Jesus all the time, who help others with their wealth. There's a lot of people who are famous who tell other people about Jesus and they love the Lord and they're a good example to the other famous people and they're a good example to all of us. There's some people out there who are very popular who love Jesus and who know Jesus as the Lord and Savior and they're a witness for them as well. Um, and so again, just remember, um, where, whether you're rich, whether you're poor, whether you're popular, whether you're unpopular, you know, be a witness wherever you might be at today, whatever position you're in today, always be a witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and you know, I guess uh, I've sung this song before, but uh, I've never sang this song um, I just sang the song alone, but never sang it with, uh, you know, during one of my sermons. And I know y'all all know it. Uh, and anyway, it's a real simple song, and I and I love it. It's it's uh, another one of my favorite songs, and it's called "I Have Decided 
<clears throat> to follow Jesus. And uh, again, my voice is kind of bad again today, uh, but y'all can <clears throat> y'all can try to sing along with me if you'd like. It goes like this. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turning back, no turning back. The cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back, no turning back back. Uh, here's the, another verse. I left this one out. Let's try this. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. Though none go with me, I still will follow. No turning back. No turning back. Hey, I think I already sang that. Uh, I meant this, this part. The cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, the cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back. I'll follow him. Amen. Amen. Um, so I have a question. Are you following Jesus today? Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? If you've never accepted him as your Lord and Savior today, if you've never asked him to come into your heart and life and save your soul, and if you aren't following Jesus today, then I'd like to give you that opportunity to begin to follow Jesus, to ask him into your heart and life and to save your soul. Um, the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, or shall not perish, but have ever lasting life. Uh, it also says that who in Romans that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So today, if you would like to call upon the name of the Lord um, and be saved, then I'd like to just say, you to say this prayer and mean it with all of your heart uh, and just bow your heads and say this uh, prayer again. Mean it with your heart. Say it from your heart. Say, Dear God, I believe that you sent your son Jesus Christ to die on a cross for all of my sins. And I believe that he rose on the third day and, to have, and he had victory over sin and Satan. And dear Lord Jesus, I believe this with all of my heart. And Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my life and save my soul. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. And again, be the Lord and Savior of my life. Um, I ask you to take control of my life. I ask you to use me for your glory. And I, I dear Lord, I just, uh, I thank you, dear Lord, now for saving my soul. I thank you for loving me. I also ask you, Lord, to just take Again, take complete control of my life, Lord. Help me to live for you all the days of my life, Lord. And dear Lord, just let me fulfill your plan and your will and your purpose that you have for my life. And Lord Jesus, I just thank you for now again for loving me. I thank you for saving me. And I ask all this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. So if you said a similar prayer like that and you meant it with all your heart, you just got saved. Uh, now, you know, start going Start going to a gospel preaching church that preaches the gospel. Um, you know, start going to the Lord in prayer. Uh, start praying to him every day, praying to the Lord uh, and seek out his will and his plan for your life. 
Um, also start witnessing to others, tell others about Jesus. Also uh, get baptized uh, in obedience to Christ. Um, and anyway, uh, I would also like to ask you another question. If you don't have a church or if you're interested in going to church, then I'd like to invite you out to the Dutton Street Mission. Uh, we are located at 1128 Dutton Avenue and Waco, Texas. And uh, our service is from 11 a.m. until 12 noon on Sunday. And uh, we would love to have you come on out and join us anytime. You'd be welcome. All are welcome. Uh, anyway, uh, this is Pastor Edmund Castro, and I guess I better let you go from now for now, and I'll see you next time. God bless you all in a mighty, mighty way. Bye.